How hot is the sun? In the late 19th century, British mathematician and scientist William Thomson, aka Lord Kelvin, spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. He correctly deduced that the sun couldn't be made of coal because if it was, it would have burnt itself out. He instead thought that the sun was shrinking under its own gravity, releasing heat in the process. Alas, he turned out to be wrong. But like all good science, it helped us get a better understanding of the reality. So now we know that the surface of the sun is about five and a half thousand degrees Celsius, or 5,800 Kelvin. So the surface of the sun is pretty hot, but it's actually a lot cooler than it is in the center. Deep inside, temperatures soar high enough to turn hydrogen into helium. Every second, it releases the same amount of energy as a billion nuclear bombs. There's a billion nuclear bombs, that's a lot of energy. And it's not just extremely hot, it's huge. The sun contains 99.8% of all of the mass in our solar system. These early photographs from 1865 are part of a study on sunspots. Cooler, darker patches that appear, drift and vanish as the sun churns and spins at different speeds. They're part of an 11-year cycle of swirling magnetic activity, unleashing solar storms and flares, powerful enough to disrupt satellites, spacecraft and even power grids on Earth. So if the sun is so hot, can we ever get close to it? Well, actually, the answer is yes, we already have. In 2021, NASA's Parker Solar Probe was firstly the fastest object that humans have ever built. But secondly, it was the first ever spacecraft to pass through the outer atmosphere, its corona. The probe is still orbiting the sun and it's getting closer all the time. So how hot is the sun? Hot enough to make our planet possible big enough to rule the solar system, and still full of mysteries that we're only just beginning to touch. <laughs>